everyone and today I'm doing kind of a different makeup tutorial than I usually do. I'm doing my first uh, runway inspired tutorial and um, it was a secret until now and it is the Atelier Vers Versace look and I hope I pronounced that right. There will be pictures in, of the look in the description bar and this look is dedicated to Kiki because this, look, this um, collection, this particular collection she posted on Twitpic and it was, um, and the dresses are absolutely amazing. They are works of art and it would be great to see Kristen in one of those. So, this is timely for her. So, I'm going to start with my foundation and it is, um, it is a pale model. So, I'm going to be using a really pale foundation and I'm going to use my Avon Ideal Shade in Ivory. And since I'm not, I refuse to use my horrible foundation brush from Boots again. I'm waiting on my Avon foundation brush. I am just using my hands. But I would advise you use um, a foundation brush for this. Okay, once you're done with that, uh, you can take your powder. And I'm using Avon Ideal Shade and Fair again. And I'm just applying that on the usual problem spots. I'm kind of using it to blend in a bit on the jawline as well. Okay. Um, now, again, using my powder brush, I'm going to be using a bronzer, and it's number 85 from Bourjois. And I'm just, um, just going to use this to contour the face. And I'm going to be putting that on the jaw, jawline, cheekbones, and just here. And you really would need an angled brush for this. You can get one of these from Avon. I plan on getting it with the next campaign. So I've already primed my eye with the Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion. Okay, so for the eyes. What I've done is I've started off with um, Urban Decay's Half Baked with this brush. It's a Ruby Amelia brush and it's just a normal eyeshadow brush. And this is um, Half Baked here. If I can show you that. It's this colour here. And then for the brown, I've used Twice Baked. And I would really recommend getting this Urban Decay palette. It's much, it's, it's worth your money to get it's it's much better value to get a palette than to get individual Urban Decay uh, single eyeshadows. You just get more for your money. Um, and for the brown, I use this brush, and it's just a thin brush, just a regular thin brush. And to get this effect, what I've done is I've started very lightly with the color very lightly because it is quite dark, and I've started in the outer corner and I've pushed the colour inwards very slowly and very lightly. Then I've made a line here, kind of a liner line on the lash line. And I've connected the two with a straight line. And that's how I've got that, that effect. Um, next I'm going to be using the same Ruby and Millie brush. I'm just going to clean it off. And I'm going to be using Polyester Bride, which is basically a white eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using that. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's it's easy. Uzi or easy or whatever you want to call it. And it is basically I think it's kind of the same as polyester bright, except it's more I think there's more sparkles in it or something. But I'm just going to use that to highlight. I'm just gonna put that above the brown. Just gonna blend it with my finger. It's very, very sparkly. And this is it there. That colour. Okay, now I'm done with those Urban Decay eyeshadows and I'm just going to use this thin brush again. And I'm going to take my usual Rimmel London colours and it's 621 Orion and I'm going to be using the darkest colour. I'm going to take that and I'm going to line the lower, lower, lash, lower lash line. And I'm just going to push that colour 
through the lash line. Basically like that. And I'm just going to blend it a bit using the blending brush. Okay, now I'm going to do eyeliner, and you don't need a lot of eyeliner. I'm using the Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. And I'm just going to put this as close to the lash line as possible um, on the top lid only. Eyeliner should basically look like this. <clears throat> and I've only put it as far as about here, where my main lashes end, basically. Now you're done with that, I'm going to move on to brows. And I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows, just to give them a bit of shape. And I'm going to be using Avon's Glimmer Stick Brow Definer in dark brown. Now her eyebrows are kind of a light brown, they're kind of a, like a blonde. She is blonde, so it's kind of a blondy colour. So I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm not going to do too much to them. So then I'm just going to basically fill in the bits that need filling in. And then I'm going to use um, this Miss Sporty Just Clear Mascara and I'm going to put that all over the eyebrow and kind of shape them. This keeps them in place all day long. And what I'm doing is I'm pushing all the hairs upwards so they're quite vertical. And then I'm just going to push them down. You don't want them to go past the natural line of your eyebrow. And this keeps them in place all day. They're, it's brilliant. And it's just, it's Miss Sporty Just Clear Mascara and it is like three pounds in boots. Mascara I'm going to be using um, Avon's Super Shock in black. Okay, for lips you want to keep them really, really natural and really, really nude. So I'm going to be using from London Stay Glossy in 120 Non-Stop Glamour. And this is my favourite gloss at the minute. It's kind of got a nude colour to it, but it's kind of it's kind of pink. And it's incredibly glossy. And it's got a bit of sparkle in it, so it's amazing. Okay, that's the Atelier Versace look. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!